one by one. Even as we speak tonight, thousands of the city's parking meters are being reprogrammed. And until they are all fixed, drivers can't pay their meter with cards, but they can still get a ticket. CBS 2 Sally Bauman tells us why drivers are feeling this pinch for the city's problem. That's the sound of six dollars worth of quarters feeding a midtown parking meter Friday. That's probably 24 quarters I had. That's, uh, that's all I have. I don't know who carries around more than that. Not the most romantic way to start a date night. That gets us till 7.30, so. An hour and a half? Kind of dampens the plans a little bit, yeah. But he doesn't have much of a choice. Parking meters all across the city have stopped accepting credit cards and prepaid parking cards since January 1st due to a software glitch. And the Department of Finance, which collects on parking tickets, says drivers can still be fined if they don't pay the meter. A spokesperson telling us there are a number of other ways to pay parking meters and ensure drivers do not receive a ticket, such as with coins or the Park NYC app. The app's not working, so. But a lot of drivers have also been complaining the meter app isn't working either. Yeah, payment failed. If it's a system failure, I think that's really stupid to still ticket people. The Department of Transportation says the software for these automated meters expired at the start of 2020 and had never been updated by the company which supplies the meters to the city. I have a commercial vehicle, so I have to use a meter every day. DOT crews are now trying to reconfigure the software on all 14,000 meters in New York City. But when we caught up with crews in Long Island City Friday, even that didn't seem to be going very well. So far, they say roughly 1,700 have been repaired. That's about 12%. They got to step up their technology. The Transportation Department also told us that they'll be training and deploying additional electricians this weekend. So there'll be crews working to resolve this around the clock. The city predicts that all the meters will be fixed by Thursday night, more than a week after this problem began. From Chelsea, Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News.